All directors have their own personal goals for their movies. Christopher Nolan is no exception to that rule. His films like The Dark Knight and Memento are entertaining movies that leave the audience thinking about big ideas. Across all of his films, he has a singular vision to explain complex human experiences in films that are challenging, entertaining, and clever. He likes to do this through designing his films around the connotations of whatever issue he discusses, be it through the structure of the plot or symbolism. All of the techniques he uses complement his devotion to delving into the vices and successes of humanity and make for some very enjoyable movies. Inception is a fantastic film because of its ability to inspire the viewer to think outside the film with its depiction of dreaming. Connotation is vital to the film because of how universal the experience of dreaming is to people. Having a dream come to life on screen takes a lot of consideration of the things that people associate with dreams. A train suddenly driving through the middle of the road or defying the laws of physics are the kinds of things that people relate with dreaming, and so Nolan makes sure to use it. His aim with the film was to build a very realistic visual depiction of dreaming to explore the human experience of guilt in Cobb, played by Leonardo DiCaprio. The way Nolan builds a relatable dream world is through spectacle and quick cuts to imitate the experiences of thinking and dreaming. He does this so that the audience can engage better with the film because it is similar to how they experience thinking and dreaming, and from there, Nolan can delve into the human emotion he's interested in. In Inception, Cobb creates a lot of the popular feelings that are found in dreams. A lot of the things that happen in Inception happen suddenly and without warning, which is designed by Nolan to emulate the uncontrollable feeling people have when they dream. The way Nolan constructs his shots also follows a trend of trying to visualize how people experience thinking and flashbacks. For a lot of films, flashbacks are fully formed and linear, whereas with Nolan, flashbacks are exactly that, flashing. By building a world on screen which people can very easily relate to from their own experiences, Nolan has the opportunity to explore human complexities with more audience engagement. For Inception, that means delving into guilt by using visual cues for dreaming and thinking. Instead of portraying Cobb's guilt fully before the very end of the movie, Nolan likes to hint at it by recreating how people experience guilt. Guilt is more often than not a random feeling that springs on a person and only in the background eats away at them. Just like with Dreaming, Christopher Nolan tries to make a visual representation of this with Cobb's kids, the windows, and other significant motif images. By doing this, he can show Cobb's guilt bubble to the surface when he is in intense situations. These visual cues are instantaneous and happen randomly to remind Cobb and the audience of his battle with guilt. Without building the world in a way people can relate to, it would be harder for people to be able to comprehend what Nolan has to say about guilt. By working to create a realistic and relatable experience in Inception, he is able to explore the human issues of his films more easily. Inception isn't the only film that Nolan likes to do this with. Often his films will have lots of visual cues that tie to characters which build off the connotations we put into objects and situations. The tattoos and photographs that dictate Leonard's life in the film Memento carry the connotation of being permanent in the film, which reveals Leonard's want for something constant in his life to work with. Just like with the motifs that fuel Cobb's guilt, the motifs of tattoos and photographs build towards Christopher Nolan's want to explore human memory and whether we choose our own truths. As the film progresses, Nolan constructs Leonard's dependence on his tattoos and his photographs to reveal the truth of his situations. By building up this motif and making it so central to understanding his character, when Nolan tears it down at the end of the film, he leaves the audience unsure what truth really is if you can convince yourself of lies. Without the heavy reference to the meaning of a tattoo or a photograph, Nolan's ultimate message about the nature of human memory and psyche would be far less effective on the audience. His use of motif objects are used to develop these ideas about human emotions in a very direct way, unlike directors like David Fincher. Nolan enjoys being more direct with his association of motifs to characters because he wants the audience to consciously understand his message when he delivers it. I have to believe that when my eyes are closed, the world's still there. The Dark Knight uses motifs in subtler ways than some of Nolan's other films, but aims to ground itself in realism to explain to the audience the troubling nature of morality. The film's plot and action tries to be as realistic as possible. Well, for the most part. Nolan creates a Gotham that is similar in many ways to corrupt cities in order to have people think that the plot of The Dark Knight is based in reality, just like how Inception's plot was created to make people feel like its visualizations of dreams are based in reality. By creating a villain and environment in the film that is very heavily realistic, unlike a lot of superhero films, the audience sees the commentary on morality that Nolan makes as inherently more realistic. 
With the foundation of a realistic setting established, Nolan's subtle symbolism is used to discuss morality and psychology in The Dark Knight through the Joker. The most obvious symbol in the film is Harvey Dent's coin, but the more interesting symbolic motif is the Joker's scars. Constantly, Nolan references the scars and draws attention to them in order to understand the Joker's main character vice. His scars represent pain and permanent damage to himself, and as the Joker enacts permanent damage to Gotham, Nolan builds up his thoughts on chaos and morality through the Joker's character. This town deserves a better class of criminal, and I'm gonna give it to him. By far, this is the most subtle use of symbolism for Nolan, but still carries a lot of weight in explaining to the audience about chaos and morality. Essentially, Christopher Nolan's goals in filmmaking is to build a story that makes the audience consider the psychology and mentality of human beings. Are we capable of accepting difficult truths? Do we let guilt define who we are? Can we uphold morals in the most extreme of situations? These questions drive Christopher Nolan's directing. He wants to challenge the audience with these questions because he sees them as questions that need to be asked. To do that, he has to emulate the human experience the best he can in a visual context. It's his knack for visualizing human emotions that makes him stand out from the crowd. What gives you the right? What's the difference between you and me? I'm not wearing hockey pants. 